when you're sitting and meditating, you're giving energy to the mind. Because the mind needs a lot of energy. It's dealing with all kinds of stuff. It has to look after the body, which is getting hungry every day, and then after a while it gets sick, and then it gets old, and then it's going to die on you. And you have to deal with people outside as well, all kinds of things. And so we're going to get the strength to do that and not start doing unskillful things, because it's very easy to react to unpleasant events with unskillful reactions. The hard thing is to learn how to find a source of strength inside so that you can react skillfully no matter what. And your mind can bring an attitude of skillfulness to everything. That's what we do as we meditate, is to give ourselves the energy we need. Because sometimes we know the right thing to do, but we just don't have the energy to do it. This is if our knowledge doesn't do us any good at all. So for our knowledge to do us good, we have to have the energy. That's why we meditate, get the mind to settle in and be here right here with the breath. This is where exercising the mind and exercising the body are two different, two different things. You exercise the body, you've got to move it around, but you exercise the mind, you've got to get it still. And that's what gives strength to the mind. Once it's been still, there's a sense of well-being that comes from within. What the Buddha calls the food of rapture comes from within. And that gives us the strength we need. When something unpleasant comes up, you can react skillfully. When something pleasant comes up, you can react skillfully, too. Because that's another danger, of course, is we like certain things, we try to hold on to them, and then we end up doing unskillful things in order to maintain what we like. So in order to face the dangers of both pleasure and pain, you've got to get the mind well established. You've got to get the mind nourished with the concentration. This is for your good and for the good of everybody around you.